Sixers, the pizza shirt is on today. Very excited. We're headed to the West Loop, one of my personal favorite places. If you saw us talk about this at the end of our live show last week, you know we're going to Nona's. So excited you're here. Sicilian style pizza, some pepperoni, psyched. Yeah, and today we want to do a shout out for our Patreon member, Mr. Quentin Nelson. He's a $10 Patreon level member. Uh, I say this all the time, but this show is made possible by you folks, and specifically the Patreon members. Getting that and understanding that we have a monthly income that we know we can plan our food reviews off of is a massive help. So a huge shout out to you. We appreciate you, Quentin. You are an American hero and a number six with cheese hero. Yeah, that's a legendary name too. Quentin? Yeah, right? Sick. All right, let's hopefully go get a legendary pizza. Psyched. We've got a Sicilian style pizza from Nona's in that box, acquired jump cut. All right, that's the fun part of the video. This is the Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's take a look at that. My God. So we got pepperoni pizza. This is a Sicilian style, so you're seeing the thicker crust. Um, looks like there's a little bit of caramelization on the crust too. A lot of pepperonis, thick pepperonis. Also a ton of herbs scattered on top of it. It looks delicious. This looks unbelievable. It really does. I've only ever had a slice of this, never like the full pie, so it looks gorgeous. Right. All right, Sicilian style pizza, Nona's. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My first bite was excellent. It's interesting, like, oh my God, that is so good. They use so little so <clears throat> sauce, mm -hmm. but somehow there's still so much like moistness to it. It's yeah. kind of wild. Look at that caramelization. Whoa, they got a whole garlic clove on here. Oh my God, it does. Sweet. That's like your dream. <laughs> yeah. You eat garlic cloves like popcorn. This pizza is unbelievable. It's so good. A very airy crust. One thing that it gets knocked for is that it's not crispy enough. Cause it is a little bit like softer in the middle. Yep. I don't know, there's something like distinct about it that I like though. Yeah, I don't mind it. Like, I used to get this during the pandemic, like you could throw this in the air fryer. If you did get it to go, you can get there really easily. But I think that there's something so beautiful about this. It's just like, it's nice and crispy here, but soft on the inside, I like it. Mmm, that's so good. Yeah, this is excellent. Yeah, this is a creamy parm. Yeah, this creamy parm is stupid. It's so good. I knew you were gonna like it. I think creamy parm is better than ranch. And I know that's very hard for people so to too. hear, but. This is my first time having it. It's kind of com combining two things, like the creaminess, the dairiness, but then there's a cheesiness to this sauce, which is wild. Mm -hmm. I could see it like wanting it to be a little crispier, yep. for sure. Yep. But all in all, I mean, this is a great experience. These pepperonis are really unique too. They're a little thicker. They're so thick. But they're still like, man, the seasoning on that pizza. That, those little touches, like doing extra seasoning, yeah. it goes so far with me. Like how much do the herbs cost that people gotta go light on those? I don't know why pe more people don't do it. I know. And mm. I would argue, most places don't do it. So when it's like, you do get it, you're like, man, this sh everybody should be doing this. Right? They also have New York style pizza here. So maybe we'll do that in the future. That's also amazing. Yeah, I saw some pictures or a video of it and it looked damn good. Nona's has my favorite chicken parm sandwich in the city. Oh, no way, really? That is, that's the number one thing on the menu if I was like to pick. I would tell people to get that over everything else. And everything is good, but like, I would love a good chicken parm. Mm -hmm. oh, this creamy parm is unique and amazing. I know. You don't see a lot of it. Mm -mm. This is honestly my first time even hearing of it. I think I might have ordered this one time after a couple beers. I clicked add to all the sauces, <laughs> so I tried them all. They also have a pepperoncini gar uh, pepperoncini aioli, aioli which yeah. is weird and wild. This is one of the better pizzas in the city. It is. This is so good. I've wanted to do this, but I always get nervous about redoing places. Mm -hmm. But man, for this, like, it's totally worth it. We did their meatball sub, like, what, a couple years ago now. And you might be thinking, Four slices, this is a pre it's 20 bucks by the way. Yeah. Only four slices of pizza, but these slices are so filling. It's a meal. Are you gonna have a second slice? No. And then will you give me the hotter sixer sauce? Do you have any? No, chance? we're out. Damn. We used it all. I should've brought some. I know, I meant to text you and I forgot. <laughs> Hilarious that I don't have any. Oh, these thick pepperonis. It's so unique, man. Good Italian, like places like this, like it's kind of modernized a little bit the way some of the stuff on the menu. It's just mm -hmm. great. Like I, there's really not a lot of places like this. There's a lot of Italian delis, but no one just kind of has like, more of a craftiness to it a little mm -hmm. bit. I mean, wow. I'm blown away by this. I'm glad you like it because I, I do think this is up there with some of the best in the city. I agree. I think this is, okay, so now I have a new categorizing of pizza. Sicilian? 
Yes, mm -hmm. which I think is definitely different than Detroit style. It is. Although very similar. So, Pizza Friendly Pizza would probably be in this? I think so. I do like this better than Pizza Friendly Pizza, which is amazing, because Pizza Friendly Pizza is one of the best pizzas in the city. I want to go back there. I think I like this a little bit better. I mean, this is damn near one of my perfect pizzas. I know. The caramelized crust. I kind of like the lack of sauce. I don't want, I, do too. I don't like it. The only sauce I've, just talked about this, Millie's. Millie's pizza, pizza in the Pan. They're my favorite sauce in the city. And if, usually if it's not my favorite sauce, I don't want much of it. No, it sucks when they overdo it and you're like, this isn't really the best flavor on the pizza. Mm -hmm. It's very like overpowering sometimes. I agree. Some people want, some people are like, want more sauce. I'm they cool do. with just the cheese and the pepperoni and the crust and a, just a touch of sauce. But for personal preference, everyone's got their own opinion. I think the balance on this pizza is perfect. For real. real. Cheese to toppings to herbs and then also crispy and soft. Like Excellent. you don't normally get a lot of that. It's, it's either one or the other right. a lot of the times. Are you gonna do another piece? Or no, because there's no No, sauce. no, let's, let's, I was gonna, if you were going to, I was mm -hmm. going to. I'm gonna save it because I do wanna do the second piece air fried at home. I know, air fried would be so it good. It kinda gives you both styles. All right, time to rate that pizza. How does it stack up against the other giants? Uh, out of five, dude, that dough and like everything, it's kinda springy. It's kinda like a trampoline. It was. Out of five trampolines that you might find in a Midwest backyard, how many trampolines you might find in a Midwest backyard? Do you give the Sicilian style five bucks a slice, 20 bucks total for that pizza, known as Cory? That is one of the best pizzas I've had in the city. I'm obsessed with that pizza. You guys really need to try that out. Uh, the crust was amazing. It was nice and airy. I like that even though it was 20 bucks and you're only getting four slices, I would never eat that whole pizza. Oh God. That was, <laughs> it's so much pizza. Like uh -huh. really one slice, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Two slices, I'd be like, Boom, I yep. think I'm good. Yep. So don't be fooled by the lack of slices. Mm. It comes in like hearty. Yeah. Uh, also, the pepperonis were great. I like the seasoning on it. Everything about it tasted really good. The caramelized crust was amazing. I do think that there, it could be like a little more of the caramelized crust. Yeah. Other than that, I don't really think that there's much to add to this. And I don't know if necessarily caramelized crust to the extent of Detroit style is the same extent which I need to be holding people accountable for Sicilian style. I agree. Yeah. So I actually think this is the perfect Sicilian style pizza. I'm gonna give it a five. It is so unbe unbelievably rare to find a place that does slices yes. of square pizza, and then you can also get a full pizza. Like, I think Nona's just does a lot of things well, and it really comes to the forefront with their pizza like that too. That to me is the perfect style of pizza. When I go here, I will get a couple different things. So I'll get a slice of pizza, I'll share half a sandwich with somebody else, I'll get, um, they have like good Italian desserts, like stuff like that, like mm. I like a lot of bites. Nona's allows you to do that for not breaking the bank. Yeah. Like just, you can get a slice of pizza and share it. Uh, dude, that's a five. It's, it's, I was so excited when you picked this place because I, it's my favorite place in the city. It's my so number great. one favorite restaurant. So great. It's awesome. And it's also, the guy that owns it also does Fermentos, which is right there. Both these restaurants are, are great. Hey guys, before we get out of here, don't forget to like and subscribe. And quick question for you guys to uh, get us a little communication going on in the comments section. What is your favorite style of pizza? We've talked about it before. There's Detroit style, there's Sicilian style, there's New York style, there's New Haven style. There's all these different kinds of styles of mm -hmm. pizza. What's your guys' favorite? Um, don't forget Toledo has its own style, so Toledo <laughs> style is an acceptable answer. Maybe your answer is Chef Board. Pizza. I don't know. Um, yeah, comment. We'll chat with you guys here today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. This one was a blast and super delicious. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Brand new video on the channel. Goodbye. Peace.